So welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we got this nice uh, six liter here that as you can see is smoking quite a bit. Now coolant level keeps going down so we're gonna figure out if it is the EGR cooler or head gaskets. So come along and we'll show you how to get it done. All right, to set up doing the bubble test. Now what the bubble test does is it will roughly determine if your EGR cooler is leaking or your head gaskets are gone or a combination of both. So what you need to do is you need to set up a hose running from the degas bottle into a clear, just a clear thing of water. So this is what I use, it's my coolant uh, pressure tester adapter. So I just take the pressure gauge off it and run it down into the water. So you need to run the truck, wait for the bubbles to stabilize in that bottle. And then once they've stabilized, you look at the rate and how fast they're coming out. And then you go over to the turbocharger and unplug the variable vein actuator here. And what unplugging the actuator does is that relaxes the veins in the turbocharger so there's no back pressure on the back of the EGR cooler. If the bubbles stay the same or don't really change that much, then that's usually a head gasket problem. But if the bubbles go away and clear up, then your EGR cooler is blown. So let's get going with the test and see what we got. So that is with the solenoid plugged in. And now I just unplugged it. Plug it back in. You can hear the turbo vanes tighten up and the sound of the engine changes and the bubbles start coming out. So unplug it. And you can see there's no bubbles anymore. So this means the EGR cooler is ruptured on this vehicle. You can also see out the exhaust here, there's a fair amount of smoke there. So all the coolant is just getting sent out the exhaust through the EGR cooler. So that is how you diagnose whether you have an EGR cooler blown or your head gaskets are gone in a six liter power stroke. Pretty quick and simple to do. So if you like this video, give us a like, comment down below on some more suggestions you'd like to see. And yeah, we'll see you on the next one.